So is it hypocritical that the U.S. swimming coach says that uh, this Yi Shuen girl, the Chinese girl kicked the U.S. asses, and uh, this swimming coach, the director of world swimming, the U.S. guru, called Yi Shuen's performance as disturbing, saying it reminded him of the East German swimmers back in the 1980s, hinting that uh, the Chinese girl is dope. So now when I type her name into uh, Google, that's what comes up. Just doping allegations, doping allegations, doping allegations. It's like this, the US swim team couldn't hack that they got beaten by the, the Chinese swimmer there. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Michael Phelps get busted for smoking bongs? Now, Michael Phelps, he's won like, is it 15 gold medals? But he smokes dope, but he's not doping. No, because, can you imagine if at the Olympics, at the London 2012 Olympics, if Yi Shuen was standing there and that coach Joe came up and said, your performance is disturbing, and Yi Shuen picked up a bong, picked up a bong, picked up a lighter, and... <laughs> <coughs> had a big toke, and said to, uh, said to the coach, I don't believe in taking drugs, coach. I'm against drugs. <laughs> Can you imagine what, what would have happened then? <laughs> but Michael Phelps got busted smoking dope. He's got 15 gold medals. No one says shit. A 16-year-old Chinese girl wins a medal and instantly she's doping. <laughs> yes, do I think everyone's on the hot sauce? Yes. And do I find it hypocritical that the hot sauce masters would point fingers at the Chinese and accuse them of hot sourcing? I find that very hypocritical. What do you think? Do you find it hypocritical that the hot sauce masters would accuse the 16-year-old superstar Yu Shuen of hot sourcing? <laughs> Man, it's hot sauce all around the kitchen. All around the kitchen, no exceptions.